this is Brian, and this is David from 360 Immersive. You can join us here when you want to learn more about how VR training technology is helping make workforces safer. So today we're going to talk about the petroleum industry and how we can use virtual reality training to keep our workers safer. So what are some things that we need to know about the petroleum industry and how dangerous of a job is it and how can we make it safer? Well, when we think about OSHA 10 training, when we think about, uh, for instance, the construction industry, those are things we think about, and yet there's over 9 million petroleum or oil and gas related workers within the United States. So it's actually a huge footprint in a workforce that we can help engage using VR training. The other thing to think about is that those workers have anywhere from what people have said over three to some demographics over seven times the potential risk factor for injury and fatality than the common worker within the U.S. So we're dealing with a large workforce and we're dealing with a workforce that it's a very dangerous job. It's a job that you can get hurt and you actually can be killed within that environment. And it's really not you know, we, we really like the human capital. How do we reduce injuries? How do we reduce fatalities? But let's face it, companies also have to look at the cost. Do you realize that one multiple trauma can cost, uh, I think the latest uh, demographic is $97,000 wow. for a trauma. Mm -hmm. Even something as simple as a sprain can cost $17,000 and over almost 60 days worth of lost work. And then you have the time that that individual is not working and That's the impact right. that has on their family and their community as well. So how can virtual reality, VR training, how can it help? Well, if you think about it, it number one, uh, as we've talked about here before, it's literally a supplement to existing training. So you're not creating a whole course, you're literally supplementing a traditional course to do a couple things. Number one, increase engagement. You want to have more meaning within that training environment. And if you increase re uh, engagement, you increase retention. People retain more about what they've learned in, in staying safe and, and doing a good job on the job. But we also deal with a diverse workforce. And we found that that diversity actually relates to VR in, in kind of a uniform uh, universal the way, that yeah. universal, mm -hmm. a great, great term. So you've got more engagement, better retention, engaging a more diverse workforce. And then the other thing is that we're dealing with today is we're dealing with it's difficult to find trained workers. Absolutely. You know, Every industry is experiencing shortages. That's right. And so how do you get somebody coming into the industry, how do you get them up to speed? Mm -hmm. How do you get them to the point that they're really contributing to your company? And they're doing their job safely as well. That's right. So when you look at VR, you have a number of advantages that we can engage the oil and gas industry. We can keep people safer. We can bring people up to speed. We can actually create an environment that employees generally feel like they're, they're getting a, a real benefit from working for a particular Absolutely. company. So. VR safety training, the oil and gas industry, it's a natural. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions or you have any thoughts or would like to start a conversation, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, and visit us again if you want to learn more about how VR training technology is keeping people safe and saving lives. Thank you.